you could put six Marses inside of Earth. Hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we're answering the question, how big is the planet Mars? Well, there are eight planets in our solar system, and Mars is the fourth one from the Sun. It goes Mercury, Venus, Earth, and then Mars. So how big is it? I got a few things first. <laughs> Mars's gravity is one third that of Earth. So if you weighed 100 pounds on Earth, you would only weigh 33 pounds on Mars. And its atmosphere is 100 times thinner than Earth's. This is partially due to Mars being smaller and less dense than Earth. Dense. What's, what's dense? Well, being dense or having density is how tightly packed all of the atoms are in an area. And Mars is only 71% as dense as Earth. The low density and low gravity are still high enough to have moons, though. Mars has two. Phobos and Deimos. Okay, okay. Enough with all the extra info, Kevin. Give us the good stuff. Like, how big is Mars? It's the second smallest planet next to Mercury. Mars's radius, or the distance from the center to the surface, is 3,600 kilometers or 2,100 miles. That's just over half of that of Earth. 53.2% to be exact. These aren't scale models. Mars is smaller. Now the surface area of Mars, all the places that you could walk, 145 million square kilometers or 56 million square miles. That's just 28% of all of Earth's surface. But Mars and Earth pretty much have this same amount of land. How, how is that possible? Well, because Earth's surface, all this blue, 71% water. All right, two more things about Mars. Mars's mass is 11% that of Earth, and that's 6.39 times 10 to the 23rd kilograms. The volume, how big it is on the inside, Mars is only 15% the volume of Earth. So that's why six Marses could fit inside it. <laughs> now on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of where did Mars Curiosity land is C. Gale Crater. This week's question is, what is the largest planet in our solar system? Is it A, Jupiter, B, Saturn, C, Uranus, or D, Neptune? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.